Hello guys, I am Lisa from GemPages. Welcome to the video tutorial series, GemPages 101. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create different kinds of layouts and make them responsive using row element. As a new GemPages user, you may wonder how to design primary layout sections, such as product detail, logo list, product breakdown, testimonial, product bundles, comparison table, and trust badges. Well, it all starts with the row element. Row should be the first thing to consider when creating a section layout. As you may know, we already have lots of pre-built variants of row, from one to four columns. For GemPages 7.0, we have added the five column and six column rows to improve user experience. You can do many things with rows. You can drag and drop content, or even another row into it. In the row settings in the left sidebar, you can adjust the number of columns in the layout without having to return to the element list. To set the column width, you can choose fit to content or by ratio. Fit to content resizes the width to accommodate the content length. By ratio, on the other hand, is based on a given width. We also have a bunch of other settings available. Columns to add, duplicate, or delete columns vertical align to choose how the content is aligned, top, middle, bottom. Column size to determine whether the column is displayed based on a given value or automatically. Background content, and so many more for you to explore. For more details, please refer to the Help Center link below the video. To design a responsive layout, you must use rows and set up row settings accordingly. The number of columns in a row responsively differ on different device screens. For example, a four-column row in desktops is horizontally displayed, but it is arranged vertically by default in the mobile version. Moreover, we can still configure the row's size on mobile devices by selecting either two column or four columns. Therefore, you can design optimal content for either mobile or desktop without any hassles. I'll walk you through a demo to help you visualize how to use a row right now. I'll start by dragging and dropping a heading element, adding content, and applying center alignment. For a better display, I will set the line height to 120%. Next, add a text block inside, choose the content, and then center it. And in advanced settings, set the margin text in outside space to 2XL. The next step is to design a three-column layout. I will start by inputting a three-column row element. Add image element, and upload icon. I will turn off the full width option, set the width to 48 pixels, and apply center alignment. Drag the next block to right, and center the text. Next, spacing setting. Now let's set borders for the column. I will drag and drop a new one column row element and then go to advanced settings. Here, I will enable the border and set the border value to one pixel. I'll change the color for a more stylish look. Continue by dragging and dropping the prepared elements. To make it more aesthetic, I will increase the inside space. I will go back to column settings to delete the other two columns and duplicate the edited column. Now I just need to update the content and images accordingly. I'll remove space between columns by setting column gap to zero. That's it! Now we have completed a responsive web layout using row elements. This is the end of the video in the GemPages 101 series. I hope you like it. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on all notification bell to learn more fundamental tips and advice to build a store that sells. Thanks for watching.